The debate continues on whether or not to raise taxes in Kansas to make up for more than a $400 million gap. Our Brenda Lee Gonzalez is live at the Capitol in Topeka after sitting in on the session now seven days overdue. Brenda Lee. That's right. It's costing the state at least $43,000 for every day past the normal legislative session. And as you mentioned, Jodion, we're now seven days past that. And today, the House only spent 10 minutes without making any major decisions. So it's not over yet here at the Capitol. Now, today, at least two senators were missing from today's debate on whether to raise taxes on certain items like food and sales tax. At least one may be on a cruise. Today, senators approved. approved Approved lowering the state's food tax from 6 to 5.7 percent. They also approved eliminating a proposed motor vehicle tax. However, still no clear agreement from Democrats and Republicans on how to make up for that more than $400 million deficit in the 2016 budget. The longer they take, the higher the chances for a furlough or a government freeze, which could happen by June 7th. This could close down government offices. Some exceptions, like highway patrol, that's something both sides, including the governor, would like to avoid. There is a clock that's ticking, but I think they're going to get it, uh, get it made. And everybody's got a good attitude about, okay, we need to get something through here. It's just this is hard to do. We need to look at what has been done, what, have we, what has the legislature put in place, and, um, is there, and is there a way to spread the responsibility for government over the biggest group of people. At some points, the discussion over at the Senate turned into heated discussions. In fact, one senator pulled out a trash can, put it on his desk to describe how he feels about this bill that could raise taxes. He says it just stinks. But supporters say something has to be done to get the Kansas budget back on track. Reporting live in Topeka, Brenda Luis Gonzalez, 41 Action News.